Hi everyone! Welcome to a new video. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need for your business all in one place. So back in June, I was chosen to be a part of the Midvale Mural Festival in Utah. It's super exciting. Uh, I've never been to the Salt Lake City area and it was going to be a whole new experience for me. Um, I've been trying to get a lot more murals, so applying to mural festivals has been uh, one of the biggest things for me. So we drove over to Utah from California. I think it was like 16 hour drive and it actually wasn't too bad and Nevada is at way more beautiful than I thought it was. <laughs> like the only parts of Nevada I've seen are like desert. So. Um, <laughs> The desert's pretty also, but it had a lot more green than I was expecting, and a lot of mountains, so that was fun. Um, so the wall I was going to paint is a drive through of a coffee shop called, called Tres Gatos Coffee in Midvale, Utah. The owner is super nice, and all the workers were amazing. Um, their drinks and their snacks are really good. And they wanted me to paint their drive through wall, which was a 10 foot tall by 60 feet long wall made of brick. Because of the shape of the building and like, the, it was kind of like an alley because it was a drive through I didn't project anything. So I kind of free handed this whole mural and it was a very different and new experience. <laughs> It took way longer for me to come up with the concept and figure out the colors and everything. Um, and because it was such a long image and very short, um, I had a hard time with it. The owner didn't want any animals and uh, she liked my flowers that I do. And as I was hanging out in the cafe, I saw that she had a lot of horoscope themed drinks and it was Gemini season and the owner was a Gemini so I decided to make like that kind of themed image of course twins or you know two people kind of as part of one you know and just have fun with it I wanted to use like pinks and purples it started to remind me of like Princess Bubblegum and Marceline a little bit <laughs> which is such an awesome dynamic. I love it. I also used a lot of spray paint in this mural. I still am new to spray paint. I used a little bit on my first mural and um, I'm just not like steady with it, I guess. Or I'm, I'm afraid of wasting paint because they're so expensive and um, like I just want to go fast and then I end up not, not getting a lot of coverage because I'm going so fast. But um, yeah, it's kind of a weird, a weird thing to get used to, I guess. I also have an issue because I'm left-handed and, uh, spray paint is a large, it's a large movement, like you're using your whole arm, so I use my right hand for that, and that's kind of weird. It's a little awkward for me, so I'm still getting used to it. Um, I think I got a lot better during this mural, at least with filling space. And I learned about the different caps and everything. So yeah, definitely a learning experience. Another difficulty with this one was that it was on brick and it's a very old building. So some of the brick was falling apart and crumbling as we were painting on it. That was very difficult. Um, Cause like no matter how much I try to brush out of the crumbles, it'll just keep going. So I ended up just like shoving paint in there to try and like seal it shut a little bit so I would take like the skin of the paint like the dried slightly dried paint and put it on there and then use that to like seal it up it's kind of weird <laughs> um, but Utah was so nice I loved the weather was amazing when we got there and then about halfway through the week there was a heat wave and it was about a hundred degrees out with snow on the mountains which was super weird to look at and so after a while we started just painting at night because it was way too hot and luckily um, 
the cafe had a lot of outdoor lighting so we could see at night. So that worked out. We walked around the town a couple of times because there's all these other artists painting murals too and it was really cool to see their progress every couple of days. Midvale is a cute little town. <laughs>
On one of the hottest days, we actually took a little break and went to the Natural History Museum in Salt Lake City. I'll, I loved it so much. I We don't have a lot of dinosaur bones in our museums, at least in the Bay Area. Uh, I've been down to LA and there's like one museum there that has some like mammal bones, but this this one was amazing. They had so many dinosaur bones. I wish I could have stayed there for like days just looking at them because it was so fun to just, I don't know. I got to see my favorite dinosaur also, which is, I didn't expect because it's so big. But yeah, that was a, a such a good experience and I really want to go back one day. On the last day of painting, there was like a little festival and art walk type thing. So everybody came and watched us paint and there was live music and food trucks and stuff. And it was so cute. Um, a couple of people who liked my art came out and uh, they said hi. That was very awesome. And yeah, there was some live painting and it was really cute.
ended up finishing the painting at like 4 a.m. one night and I came back the next morning to take photos but the lighting was kind of weird and I wish I could have stayed until it was a better lighting situation because there's like all the brick cast shadows on it but it looks really good anyways and I love the colors and how all the sparkles turned out. I'm pretty happy with this one. The flowers were really fun and I'm not sure how I feel about freehanding. I think I get things get a little wonky looking for me um, when I'm trying to freehand that big but it was definitely a learning experience and I had a lot of fun. back we stopped at the Salt Lake Beds and Lake Tahoe to go swimming a little bit. So today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need with your website and your business all in one place. It's great for small business owners and anyone who needs to have an online presence or like a central hub for their social media. I've been using Squarespace for years and I love how easy to use it is. All of the templates are beautiful and it's so easy to just plug in all of my information and my photos and it looks great right away. One thing I created on my website recently is a link page uh, similar to the ones that everybody puts in their bio on Instagram. Just a web page that links to all of your social media and any current links or pages that you're talking about currently on your Instagram. Uh, I made one of those pages and I just linked to it from my Instagram and it's convenient because it's already part of my website and I can just link to my store and Twitter and whatever else. And like I just mentioned, I have my online shop right there within my website. That's the most convenient thing about having a Squarespace website with my business is that somebody can be looking at my portfolio and my info and then decide to purchase something and just hop on over to my store page on my own website instead of me having to link to a whole nother website. So Squarespace has this free trial if you want to try it out. If you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. I will have more links and information in the description below. The day after I got back, it was Future and Dumpling's birthday. They actually share a birthday because I wasn't sure when Dumpling was born and it was going to be the same week as Future's, so I just combined it. They don't know, and they just get a lot of toys one day. <laughs> another mural under my belt. <laughs> That's the phrase, right? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this mural process video. I've got another one coming up for you guys soon. Actually, I'm cur currently painting it. Here's a peek at the mural I am currently painting and the next vid video you guys will get. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.